so this is what actually uh, can have a real world profoundly negative consequence. Red wolves, which are critically endangered, right? There's mm -hmm. maybe 15 in the wild and a couple hundred in captivity. Mm -hmm. Russell says that part of the reason that they're doing this is to help the uh, help help the critically endangered gray wolf population increase in size um, because it's important for conservation. But if you they let the them, critically endangered red wolf population, red, red wolf, sorry, endangered red wolf, there's like 15 in the wild. But if if their transgenic clones get out into the wild and mate with gray wolves, and those wolves can mate with coyotes, and they both can mate with red wolves, now you've introduced dire wolf mutations into red wolves, which isn't helping them, right? You're turning them into something else. You're saying that, oh, we're doing this really important thing for conservation while we're doing this other thing, which is genetic engineering of all kinds of things, and mislabeling them and calling them an extinct species when they're really not. And again, the public is going to read the headlines and think that the impossible is possible, which has mm -hmm. implications like saying we don't need to conserve endangered species anymore.